Section 11 of the Natural History of Chocolate. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Natural History of Chocolate by D. Dequillus. Medicines in whose composition oil or butter of chocolate is made use of. The wonderful plaster for the curing of all sorts of ulsters. Take olive oil a pound, Venetian cirrus in powder half a pound. Put them in a copper pan or a glazed earthen one upon a clear moderate fire, stirring them continually with a wooden spatula till the mixture is become black and almost of the consistence of a plaster, which you may know by letting fall two or three drops upon a pewter plate for if they grow cold immediately and do not stick to the fingers when touched it is done enough then must be added of beeswax cut in little bits an ounce and a half oil or butter of chocolate an ounce balsam capivi an ounce and a half when they are all melted and mixed together the pan must be taken off the fire and stirring constantly with the spatula you must add the following ingredients, reduced into a fine powder separately, and then well mixed together. Lapis calamaranus, heated in the fire, and then quenched in lime water, and ground upon a porphyry, one ounce. Myrrh in drops. Aloe sucutrine, round birthwort, florentine orus, of each two drams. Chemphar, a dram. When they are all well incorporated together, they must cool a little, and then be poured upon a marble to be made into rolls, after the ordinary manner. I have seen such surprising effects from this emplaster that I am almost backward to mention them, lest they should seem incredible. It cures the most stubborn and inveterate ulcers, provided the bone is not carious. For in this case, lest you should lose your labor, you must begin with the bone and then apply the plaster the place must be dressed morning and evening after it is cleaned with lime water and wiped well with a linen cloth the same plaster may serve several times provided it be washed with lime water wiped with a rag and held to the fire a moment before it is applied i exhort charitable people to make this plaster and give it to the poor especially those that live in the country. They will draw down a thousand blessings in this life, and the Lord will recompense them hereafter. An excellent pomatum for ringworm, telters, pimples, and other deformities of the skin. Take flowers of brimstone. Footnote, to wit, those that are made in Holland, if they can be got. In footnote. Saltpeter purified of each half an ounce good white precipitate footnote to know if the precipitate be good you may do thus put a little upon a live coal if it flies away it is good if it stays behind it is nothing but powdered cirrus or some such thing in footnote two drams benzoin or benjamin a dram Beat the benjamin and saltpeter a good while in a brass mortar, till they are reduced into a very fine powder. Then mix the flour of brimstone and white precipitate with them, and keep this powder for use. At Martinico, when I had occasion to make use of it, I incorporated it with butter of chocolate, but in France I substituted the best scented jessamine pomatum. This smell, joined with that of benjamin, corrects the smell of the brimstone which some persons abhor i cannot sufficiently recommend this pomatum which always succeeds well and i have often found it beneficial when everything else failed you must not wonder if on the first or sometimes the second day the tetar seems more lively or the complexion more dull it is a sign that the malignity is drawn out and that the seeds of it are destroyed. You must therefore take heed of desisting, for the skin 
in a little time will be rendered as even and smooth as you can desire. End of section 11. End of The Natural History of Chocolate by D. DeQuellis. Translated by Richard Brooks. 1700 to 1763.